showing up at a crime scene drunk. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a problem? The lying and beating up an innocent bystander. Get on the ground. Yeah. Well, on the ground. Dirty cops thought they could do anything and get away with it. Too bad, they're about to get canned. Disclaimer. On April 15th, 2018, 53-year-old Patricia Pizer was at a convenience store right around the time a woman was threatening to harm herself. Patricia had gotten the woman out of the bathroom, into a car, and called 911 for a welfare check. But one of those turned out to be a mistake. Alright man, can you step out? Step out. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. Why am I being on the roof? What did I do? You excuse me. Hello! The nitwit arresting people left and right without finding out exactly what was going on is Rock Hill Officer Rex Hernandez. But making arrests wasn't all he would be doing. Get away, ma'am, or you're going to jail. What would I be going to jail Listen, I called in because she was trying to kill herself. I need somebody to take her to the hospital. Both of you are being detained right now. Okay, please. It's a de we're being detained, not arrested, ma'am. Listen. Ma'am! Stop! Stop! You are You want to go to jail too, ma'am, so... No, I don't, and you're not touching me. Then leave the area or you're going to jail. Without even giving Patricia a second, the cop threw her to the ground. I'm, I'm leaving! I'm leaving! Asshole! I'm leaving! Stop! You! Get on the ground! Stop! On the ground! That is when the lies started coming. I was trying to find out what was going on and help. Okay. okay. This is just, not. Just calm down, okay? You smashed my face in. Well, you punched me in the face. I what? hate you because you were trying to hurt me. <laughs> she punched me in the face. Right. I did not Stand punch. Up. I could not punch you. Hold on. Hold on. There is no holding on. Wait. You are I under arrest. that you had no idea what's going on. Saying that to the person who made the 911 call is pretty wild. As more cops showed up, the lies just kept coming. So, as I'm putting him in detention, I put cuffs on him, and I'm like, ma'am, you can go away, you don't know what's going on. She's like, you're not gonna take him, you're not, and I'm like, ma'am, if you don't leave, you're going to jail. She's like, you're not arresting me, she walks off, so I'll go get another pair of cuffs. I have no more cuffs on me. Then she's like, you're not touching me. I'm like, grabbed her hand, you're going to you're going to jail, you're under arrest. Put cuffs on her. She gives me with a right hand haymaker in the face with her. Oh yeah, I'm fine. And then I'm trying to detain her, and then she grabs on the door. Uh, what's that? I said for a lady, she looked like she threw a me fine. Yeah, what's <laughs> it rolled off my face. I mean, I rolled so it didn't hurt because I saw it coming out of the corner of my eye. So I get out. She's standing right here. She's coming out to the car when I pull up. And I'm like getting out with her. I detain her because I don't know if it's domestic, suicidal. We've already been out there for domestic two times at their house. I tell her to turn around. You're, you're, I'm going to detain you, put you in cuffs just because of what her statements are and all that. And then starts storming off, I grab her arm, put a cuff on it, 
then she like does a haymaker with the right hand, hits me in the face. She's like, get off me, don't touch me. I'm like, all right. I think I pushed her down. Uh, then she started screaming that uh, her, her tooth was broken and was screaming, this is, you're not gonna arrest me, you're not gonna arrest me. And the lies didn't stop there. Rex also claimed she'd thrown a drink at his face, punched him twice, and even kicked him once, even though she was the one that looked like this. Patricia was charged with hindering police and assaulting a police officer while resisting arrest. The police department backed it all up, saying it was all on body camera, but they wouldn't release it. Rock Hill police stand by the arrest, saying it was done lawfully. They say they will not be releasing body camera footage of the incident. Hmm, I wonder why that is. It would take two years for the video to get out, and Patricia has filed a lawsuit against the cop and the department. That's not the only time a cop has lied, obviously. You won't believe how far one sheriff went to keep his daughter out of jail. You have a preference on a tow truck, ma'am? No, I'm gonna let my dad take care of it. My dad will take care of it. But first, on November 9th, 2023, Bradley Beach police officers were at a DUI dealing with a multi-car collision. Hey, sir, are you okay? What's going on? I don't know. I didn't see anybody go over there. There's no one in the car. Okay, I'm just gonna look at you, okay? I just want to make sure you're okay. All right. Okay. If you want to close your eyes real quick. What exactly? Just want to make sure that. All right. You got a little laceration on the top. Don't worry about that, though. All right. Sergeant William Major was also on the scene, and they were already having a hard time dealing with this drunk when another one showed up. What is it? Army. I am not the police, okay? I came here with the ambulance. I want to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I'm asking you if he's our man or not. Oh, yeah, no. What? Yeah. I get that. I'm not saying you aren't. I just want to make sure your head is giving okay. them a problem. Giving them problems that we need to be aware of. I can't get any. Can you tell me your Would first you? name at least? Why do you get a, sh a jacket on the, the stuff fit to be worn? What's on the back of it? What do you mean? Look at the tell me what's on the back of it. Oh, they, they washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. You're a sergeant for God. Okay, Chief. Let me work this DWI, okay? Come over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Come over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Get over here. I'm on a DWI. That is Bradley Beach Police Chief Leonard Guida. He was off duty, drunk, and for some reason, seeing the peeling logo on the sergeant's jacket had set him off. Chief, I'm working. Get, get over, I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have a problem? problem? You grab me! What? Now get out of here! Before you get a problem. Take him in. Take him in. No, oh. you're gonna go in. Take him in. Again. If you thought watching the chief get manhandled was bad, wait till you see him try to talk. That's the first thing. Put, 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 I'm, I'm totally shut, shut, shut up. Shut up because you're in trouble now. Stop. No, I'm Please, not in stop. trouble. Stop. Stop. I'm not stop. Trouble. stop. You're gonna be stop. Trouble. Stop. Stop. Billy. 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 Chief, I'm Billy, working at DWI. I'm, I'm listening to you. Okay. Shut up. No. You're in trouble because this is the first thing. First, first of all, I was about to say to you, you stupid. I was about to say to you. What do you need OEM for? You're, that's, you're embarrassing me in front of the men no, about the jacket. No, 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 no. That's, that's neither here nor there. Okay. That, that's neither here nor there. Now we got a real fucking problem, Billy. Yeah, we do. I know. I we know. do. All right, you're going to have to go inside. No, how about we do no, this? No, 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 no. How about no, we go Billy, inside? Billy, you're going to have to go inside right now with me. You're going to have to go inside and... and We're in a serious be, collision. Billy, you're not doing anything when I'm on the scene, Okay. You should know better than this, my friend. No. Listen you to me. Grab me. No, I said you come over line. here. You're out of line. You grab me. Some Billy, video. Billy, Some video. I'm Billy, not going to argue with it. I have a crash Billy, to work. Billy, I have a job Billy, to do. You're okay? relieved. Billy, you're relieved. But Chief Leonard wasn't done throwing his weight around. Billy, you're relieved. Go in the headquarters and wait for me. 
Yeah, so I might crash. No, no, Billy. You're relieved. I have Billy. officers here. Billy. Right here. They Billy. could get waffled because my car is Billy. blocking it. Billy, you're relieved. No, Chief. No, Billy. Please, Billy. Don't. You're suspended, Billy. I'm you're suspended? suspended? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm suspended. Yeah. I'm going home. Yes. Billy, come here. I'm going home. You're going, I, no, we you, can't talk. No, I'm suspended. No, no, no. No, no, no I'm no. suspended. I'm you're going, going to home. And you're going to wait for me there. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna suspended. Go you're gonna go I'm going home. Head. You're going to go in the headquarters and wait for me there. Let me work my crash. No, no, this no, is why no, I'm here. Billy, you're suspended. All right, if you're I'm suspended, suspended, then I'm not going to wait inside. Nothing no, more than no, 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 Billy. You have to... <sighs> have to let me explain to you. Billy, you're suspended. Okay. All right. Wait for me in there. That's an order. Can you do me a favor? Can you put your car where my car is so our officers and first aid don't get run over, yes, please? You, Thank you. you. William was still trying to secure the scene before leaving it in the hands of this drunk, but the chief wanted him gone. Hey, I'm put in the there. Door. Yes, you're gonna meet me in there. Go and put the door to him right now. There's nowhere to put her. She's gonna ruin things. Okay, we'll leave her in there. Go in. Go in. I'm going. I got people on the road. I want to make sure they're safe. I want to run you over, so watch no, out. No, no, no. Come on. Go ahead. You know I love you. Come on. I know. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop. Billy, Why would you stop. do that to me? Stop. stop. Billy, stop. <sighs> you got enough problems already. Please. Okay. But the only person who was gonna have problems was Chief Leonard. While the sergeant has since returned to duty, this police chief was forced to resign just six months before his retirement. Ending your career over a jacket has to be one of the dumbest ways to go out. What's worse than that? Ending your career because you have a dumb kid. Yeah, that's up there. On January 6th, 2023, Berkeley County Deputy William Henderson was investigating a car wreck involving Carrie Harmon when he learned something about the driver. She was a driver. He was in the pickup truck. It's all the same. Not harboring anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Just need your license, drug check, insurance? Gotcha. How y'all relate to each other? We're just friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm actually driving that truck right there. I smell a lot of dog poop or something. I mean, well, it don't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, I think I stepped. Yep. I think I did step in it. I felt a lot of Yep, I just I don't know if it's minor. You have a preference on a tow truck, ma'am? No, I'm gonna let my dad take care of it. My dad will take care of it. My dad's Nathan Harmon. He's on his way right now. Okay. Nathan Harmon. There's a reason why she name dropped her dad. He was an 11 year veteran with the Berkeley County PD and the most important part, the current sheriff. It's not every cop that will let that interfere with their investigation, but Deputy William Henderson was just the right amount of dirty for that. Went for a little ride, huh? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As soon as my dad pulls up, I already know he's gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna be on my ass about it. <laughs> I didn't see it. I mean, it's either swerve or hit something else or it's just hit the mother right on. What, a deer? Yeah. You always hit it. Right there, on my right hand side. I ain't gonna lie. My leg and my shoulder is kind of fucked up. Just watch. You need medics? No. Hell sure. no, I ain't no pussy. No, it's okay. <laughs> just watch the dog poop. Yeah, right? That's all I'm worried about. You want this back, sir? I'm hey, if you can just hold on to it for a minute. Right. I appreciate it. Literally just got this m****. Yeah. Yo, he's gonna be pissed. Well, he's on his way. I already know. I called him. I said, Dad, <laughs> you hit me and um, literally my, my car's done. You said the deer actually hit you? Yes. He should have hit me. I'm telling you, for it to look like that, it's gotta hit me. I saw that motherfucker right here, son. I'm like, oh no. It's either swerve or you hit it. Oh yeah. man. A deer. So that's what we're calling it these days. Okay. Without asking Carrie any more questions, he let her go to a friend's car as he took photos. It's almost like he's waiting for someone to show up. Enter Sheriff Nate, and this dirty cop got right to work. You have a preference in tow trucks, sir? 
lesson. She's up there in the truck. I just got him out of the roadway, so traffic went. So she's not here? No, she's up there in the truck. Yeah. She just walked up there because I had to move out of the roadway because cars are backing up, so. I got, a, I got an item on her car that I need to check. Okay. You got flash on it? Still there. <laughs> Have you talked to him? Uh huh. Is she drinking? Uh -huh. I can't tell. Okay. <laughs> right by you. <laughs> he can't smell booze, but he can smell dog poop, sure. Then this dirty cop left the crime scene to spread the swerve to hit a deer story. Sheriff's office. Yes. How you doing? Uh, sorry, there was an accident out here. I just need your information. Okay. The car. I'm sorry, car. Is this your fence here? Uh, actually, I think it actually belongs to the neighbor. Okay. Well, they hit your mailbox too, and okay. one shrub. So I just need your your name, man. Okay, it's Mary. Uh huh. Okay. Is everybody okay? Yeah, they're fine. Like that wasn't bad enough these two crooks started working the scene together. <laughs> she got pretty lucky. She's rolling right here. Car might just, I think when she hit center block, the, the front end came up. She's on one tire right here. Huh? Because there's a center block back there where the mailbox almost was on the other side of the bush. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. I'm pretty much done. All I got to do is just leave a note for them so I don't get in trouble by state law. <laughs> um. But before you think Deputy Williams was not caught up in this, watch him turn off his body cam when the chief wanted to ask an incriminating question. I'm, I'm curious about something. So, what happened after? Let's ask Carrie. This was her Snapchat before the accident happened. I done did it, y'all. I done fucking did it. And this well, was her Snapchat I after. Love, I love my dad. I'ma just say that. I love my goddamn dad. I bet she thought they'd gotten away with it. But an investigation was opened into the accident, and turned out Daddy Dearest didn't just stop at showing up at the investigation. He lied that she'd done a DUI and erased the GPS tracker on his daughter's vehicle. Accusations started flying. Our elected officials should all be held to accountability, and when even it's a time of personal issue, they need to do the right thing. People who either live around here or travel this road every day knows about this road. Had it been somebody else that did it other than the sheriff's daughter, would have already been arrested and sobriety test. So the sheriff went on air to cover his ass. An officer has to suspect some uh, type of intoxication or that alcohol or something, maybe drugs were involved. And if there's no suspicion of that, uh, then uh, there will be no uh, uh, preliminary breath test, there will be no field sobriety test. But guess who was charged with two counts of obstruction and two counts of providing false information? He would later take a plea deal and plead guilty to obstructing a law enforcement officer and step down as sheriff. But Carrie wasn't going scot-free either. Five months after the deer incident, she was charged with malicious wounding and conspiracy after beating up a woman at a bar. If she's found guilty, she'll be facing a two to ten year prison term. What do you know? Karma is real. Hiding behind a badge to get away with anything is a pretty basic cop move. And no one does it better than this next cop. In the early hours of January 20th, 2022, Palm Beach officer Eddie Lutz pulled over a speeding car that was swerving dangerously. How you doing? How's it going? Any reason for the speed? 
I got a P. Can I get you have your uh, registration insurance as well? Yeah, I do. How much did you drink tonight? None. Smell the alcohol. She's been drinking too. Blaming it on his date. What a gentleman. But the officer wasn't buying it. Come on, those. Okay, come on out. The highest speed I got on radar was 70. 70? And that was right before I pulled you over. I was really happy to be that's all. Okay, you were also drifting in the lane. So when I was coming up behind you, you were... Just because I was getting a blow job. Okay. Probably not the best decision while you're driving, especially if uh, you're in yeah. a certain yeah. career field. I understand. You didn't drink anything? No. No? Okay. Just hang tight right there. Give me a second. If you're wondering why this guy felt so free making that kind of admission to a cop, it's because he is also a cop. Melbourne officer Peter Dulce. He was off duty, but that didn't stop the favors from pouring in. Hi. Not making assumptions, man. Everybody's got a job. Okay. I'm just gonna check. Check your eyes, we'll go from there, okay? Yeah. Put your feet together, arms your side. See a finger. Here's what I want you to do, okay? Yep. I want you to follow the finger. Finger's gonna go back and forth in front of your vision. All I want you to do is continuously follow the finger, don't move your head. Yeah. Understand? Mm -hmm. Any questions? I do have a yep. left eye. What's wrong with it? Go. When you do your nystagmus, it's going to go up for a quick second. I'll what causes it? Is it endpoint nystagmus? Is no, it... it's a head trauma from the military. Just in one eye? Yeah. Okay. Left eye? After doing just one sobriety test, Officer Eddie made the most unbelievable offer. All right, I assume you remember who I am when yep. you worked here? Yep. All right. Looking at your eyes, I would say you're probably close. Okay. So, in the lieu of continuing, why don't we call somebody who can pick you up? Sound like a plan? It's not for me. Because well, if you want, we can continue I'm... and no, we see no, how it no. goes. But... No, I would rather not. Um in enough with my department as it is, so I would rather so. How about we make some calls? Okay. I'll do that for you. Okay. You can have a seat back in the car, let me know when you got somebody around. Assume you're familiar? Yeah. Who knew cops could just stop a sobriety test and order an Uber? I sure didn't. Then Officer Eddie turned off his audio for a call from his supervisor before returning to his not DUI, not traffic stop. I got somebody. Brother coming. How long? Uh, he's off of uh, Garvey. Okay. So, 15 minutes. Okay. So, I, I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, man. I, I'm going to trust that you uh, wait to get picked up. If I see you pull back out, you know, we'll have a different conversation, which I, I don't want to have. I totally and I get it. No, you don't want to have. Okay, you have laxman pursuit, the nystagmus isn't that pronounced at maximum deviation, you don't have an angle. So, like I said, you might be over, you may not be, okay? That eye roll says she's seen all this before. And then the cop drove off. No breathalyzer, no ticket, no citation, and he didn't even wait to make sure this drunk driver didn't drive. But guess who was pulled over for speeding just two weeks later? Peter Dolce. Sir, you got your driver's license, please? I'll need the registration, hold on to that. What would you uh, be in stop for? Well, I don't have any idea what the speed limit is out here on uh, Mitten. It is 45 miles per hour. I have any idea how fast we're going? 54? No, 71 miles per hour. 71 in a 45 mile per hour zone. So it wasn't the car coming up behind you? No, it absolutely wasn't the car coming up behind you. It was absolutely your car. I visualized it and then I picked it up on radar as well. Alright, how's the uh, driving history? Been pulled over any time in the last couple of years? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. A couple days, weeks, months, years. A couple weeks ago. It didn't take Peter long to try flashing his badge around again. I don't know. No. I did not recognize the name, sir. I'm sorry. It's fine. I got you. So you've been pulled over. What have you been pulled over for? Uh. I got you. Traffic crashes, where you were found at fault in the crash? At work. I'm sorry? At work. You were found at fault, you were involved in a uh, crash at work? Yeah, I was on duty. 
uh, firefighter, law enforcement, or what? Melbourne Cup? Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, you have identification, just so I can... No, they took it from me. They took it from me? Gotcha. All right, man, just give me just a couple moments, all right? This time, Peter did get a ticket, but instead of it saying 71 miles per hour, the officer knocked it down to 54. That wasn't going to be enough to keep Peter out of trouble, since he was already on thin ice with the department, and Peter was finally kicked off the force. As for the officers who let him off the hook, the department chose to back them up. 